today we're going to teach a very simple technique to downregulate the nervous system. It's a breath work technique. Uh, it calls a respiratory pause. Uh, when we breathe, uh, there is a physiological response to take either the inhale or an exhale. It depends on the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide has uh, in the blood. Um, so when we are tense or where we are stressed and fearful, uh, our breath stops the full inhale and the full exhale. Uh, usually uh, when there is the when there is no a full exhalation, the full inhale doesn't come either. Um, and we sometimes also, we start to uh, inhale where the, and the, when the exhale is not yet totally full coming to an end, where the inhale again is coming up. So this technique is just to observe our breath, uh, have a little bit of how our breath is, is, uh, is responding. Uh, the good thing is uh, that this system is very, very ancient. The breath has the capacity to regulate itself. We don't have to really manipulate it as much to find regulation. The breath regulates itself. It's very, very ancient, uh, part of the ancient nervous system. The only thing we have to, to, to do it is pay attention to it and especially feel it. There is a very quality feeling sensation. Uh, how, how does it feel the inhale? How do you feel the inhale? Is that the quality? Um, it feels bright, expansive, energetic. And, and how does it feel the exhale? It feels uh, letting go. It feels um, dropping. It feels um, uh, releasing. Uh, and if you pay attention in the qualities of, uh, of these qualities, really, really feeling it as we do it, uh, you can start to uh, experience that the breathing is regulating itself and expanding naturally. Uh, there is a physiological response as you feel the breath, you deepen ex itself. So this is no that we're going to do any manipulation. I want to you feel it. So uh, the best is laying down on the floor uh, with your knees bent and feet on the ground. But if you don't feel comfortable with the knees bent because the knees are a little bit wobbly or your feet connection with the ground is still just not established, uh, you can put a pillow underneath your thigh. So I can put this cushion only in my thighs. Yeah, so when I lay down, um, I can feel my lower back resting on the floor. So the first that uh, we start establishing this mind contacting the body. How do you feel? How, how does it feel the body laying down on the floor? And especially pay attention to uh, the sensation of resting, this uh, moment of resting. Take a time to fully feel the body dropping down, finding connections with the floor. As muscles start to relax, it's tension. Uh, the breath just deeply can find a bit more space to travel. Mm. Let yourself go.
Now move your tension, feeling your breath. Again, give names to these qualities. Give, give yourself your own names. How does it feel inhaling? How does it feel exhaling? And truly follow that feeling sense. Stay with that feeling sense as you breathe in and breathe out. Now the exploration here is to find your respiratory pulse. There is a pause all the time, after inhale and after the exhale. This time we're going to feel the pause after the exhale. So you just feel the exhale, the qualities of the exhale fully. and follow it till the very, very end. And then you're going to find out the inhale come by itself. To start the journey of exhalation again. Feeling all the qualities of the exhale, that sense of letting go, Resting, dropping, till the inhale comes back again. And here what we are doing is waiting for the response of the body to do the next inhale and exhale. Feel that physiological response where the breath, it takes care of itself. And again, follow the exhale. Just very, very curious. How does it feel? And then you're going to find that there is a pause at the end of exhale. This pause has a length. You wait till the inhale naturally comes back up. Let the fully inhale to take place. Usually it's very, very long or very open. Now here you're going to find out something that for me is very, very peculiar. The length of the inhale and exhale is very, very different. It's never the same. And actually the healthy body is like that. We are never the same. The length is not never the same. Just keep exhaling, feeling the full length throughout the body till you find the pulse. Enjoy the pulse, that emptiness, till the urge of the inhale comes naturally, full expansive and again just feel that qualities of the inhale of openness, brightness. till the exhale comes back again, all the way. And notice how it changes, sometimes it's long, sometimes it's short. It's not a pattern. It 
doesn't work in a pattern way because we move. Because every time we have an emotion or a thought, the breath, cha the breath changes. That's the nature of the breath. And you observe that nature. But with awareness, you support a fully exhale till you wait for that physiological response to take the next inhale and enjoy the qualities of the inhalation. It's very energetic. Till you feel the physiological response of exhale. So you're not manipulating the breath, you're just deeply feeling it. You don't want to miss any single little bit of, a, of how does it feel, the transition and the length. And as well as you enjoy the length, short, super long, incredible long pause. And then inhale comes. And always try to put some words, how does it feel? Expanding your feeling vocabulary of the breath. You may have different, different names to, um, to name the exhalations. Uh, sometimes I feel that a long, long exhale, I feel in a cave. Sometimes I visualize I'm in a dark cave place protected into that sacred space of the pause and then the inhale comes and I coming out in a very bright bright world and this is a practice it may tell you to observe your phys the physiology of breath and feeling the breath five minutes to regulate yourself to down-regulate the nervous system. It's a beautiful practice to know your breathing responses. Thank you very much.